Hi, this is Doug Schneider. Welcome back to Real Hi-Fi. In this episode, I kind of want to make it a public service announcement for Monitor Audio, the British brand that's been around for 50 years. That's right. It was established in 1972 by Mo Iqbal. Now, why I think it's important to make this announcement is that I think many audiophiles often overlook Monitor Audio, even though it's been around for 50 years, because they kind of look to other brands, other British brands in particular, and I think that's a mistake. The company is right now making not only some of the best loudspeakers it's ever made, but some of the best loudspeakers you can buy among all loudspeakers made. Perfect examples of what Monitor Audio is capable right now are the Silver 500 7G loudspeaker, which Philip Bidet reviewed on SoundstageHiFi.com on February 1st, and the Silver 300 7G, which Dennis Berger just reviewed on SoundstageAccess.com. When both reviews were published, they both received reviewers' choice honors, and the Silver 500 was just recognized with a Recommended Reference Component Award on SoundstageHiFi.com. They're part of the Silver Series 7G lineup, called 7G because it's the seventh generation of this series. The 500 is the flagship model in the series, the largest, most expensive speaker, priced at $3,200 per pair in the US right now. The 300 is the next step down at $2,600 per pair in the US, and then there are smaller models below that, as well as some models to flesh out a full home theater if you want to go beyond stereo. What's also probably important to say is that the 500 and Next Step Down 300 are the only true three-way main speakers in the Silver Series 7G lineup. The next floor standard down, the 200, is a two and a half way design, but we've never reviewed it, let alone seen it or heard it, so I can't say anything authoritative about it. But when I say step down, I don't want you to mistake that for a step down in quality. I mean in terms of price and size. And this is a mistake many people make when they look at a speaker lineup. They think, oh, I'll get the best one, so I'll get the biggest, most expensive speaker in the lineup. And that's not really the way it usually works. In a speaker lineup, when you get bigger and more expensive, what that generally means is the speaker can output higher output levels, and more bass, but whether that's good for your room and will produce the best sound in your room depends mostly on your room size. It's quite possible and often possible that the smaller speaker will work better. So consider the 500 and the 300 really peers and which one is best if you're looking at one of these speakers or others is what works best in your room. As far as the technical details of these speakers, I don't really want to get too much into that because both Dennis and Philip do a really good job of describing the speakers in their reviews and written reviews are better for giving all that nitty gritty detail. But I want to say this, what's important when you're buying a Monitor Audio Silver Series speaker or any of the company's speakers is that you're getting a ground up design. Monitor Audio, like the best speaker companies, designs and builds everything in-house and I know that for a fact because I was at Monitor Audio in the UK in 2015 and I was astonished at the size of their industrial design, mechanical design, engineering, all the acoustics and everything. There was a couple dozen people there at least and I understand it's even larger now but all these people aren't just sitting on their hands, they're designing every part of a Monitor Audio speaker. So what you're getting in the Silver Series in any Monitor Audio speaker is a unique design that has been created by the company and you can't find it really anywhere else. That said, I can help but point out one technical highlight that I believe trickled down from their Platinum 2 series, which is their flagship series, and that is the tiny mid-range driver. It's only three inches across and some people might look at it and say, is that enough of a driver to really move the air and can it take the power? And the answer is yes and yes. Um, we've listened to it and we've measured it and it can do both really well. And I think that they've chosen that size of driver, smaller than normal, is to get an optimal integration between the tweeter and the mid-range and the mid-range and the woofers so you get a really smooth on and off axis frequency response. And by smooth, I don't just mean smooth, I mean even over a wide area. And that revealed itself really well when I measured the speakers in the anechoic chamber of Canada's National Research Council. Both speakers revealed neutral frequency response characteristics, meaning they don't color the sound, with 
smooth, and even on and off axis responses. They're consistent. But what impressed me more was how low the distortion was, really low. And when I saw that really low distortion, nice neutral frequency response, both on and off axis, I thought, wow, there's some world-class loudspeaker engineering going on at Monitor Audio right now. But the impressiveness of those measurements and all that engineering wouldn't amount to much if the sound quality wasn't there. And all I'll say is go read Dennis's and Philip's reviews. There are really good reasons why we wholeheartedly gave the speakers reviewers choice awards when the reviews were published. So if it isn't already obvious from all I've said, let me say this explicitly. Check out what Monitor Audio is doing. The Silver 500 and 300 are hot. And like I said at the beginning of the video, Monitor Audio isn't just making the best speakers it's ever made. It's making some of the best speakers you can buy from what anyone is making. So check out what they're doing. Give them a good listen. Give them a fair shake. Thank you for watching.